Hi everyone, this is Abhinav from Phonebench and today we are benchmarking the new Xiaomi Redmi 2. Now this will be available starting March 24th from Flipkart for Rs. 699, the same price as the new Moto E. Now you've already seen our benchmarks of the new Moto E. Let's get to the hardware specifications of the Redmi 2. It features a 4.7 inch HD IPS display in the front. You have the Snapdragon 410 quad core 64 bit processor powering the smartphone Adreno 306 GPU. Now 1 gig of RAM and you have 4.5 gigs of available storage out of the 8 gig ROM, 8 megapixel rear camera with BSI sensor, 1080p video recording, 2 megapixel front camera. You have a 2200 mAh battery, it's removable as well. And you have a plethora of sensors including an accelerometer, proximity and light sensors as well as a magnetic field sensor. So let's start with the benchmarks. The first one we are going to run is Antutu. We have fast forwarded all the benchmarks to get to the results quickly. Now we got a great score of almost 20,000. So it's pretty higher than the Moto E and it's a bit lower than the Lenovo A6000. Now all these phones are priced pretty similarly. The Redmi 2 definitely has one advantage. It supports 4G on both SIM cards. Now we are running the Nenamark 2 benchmark. It will give us an FPS score. We got 53.7 FPS. It does mean that high-end games should be playable on the device. It's close to the Lenovo A6000 and higher than the Moto E. Now we are running the quadrant benchmark. We are running the full benchmark here as well. It's been fast forwarded. Now we got a quadrant score of 11,831, much higher than the Moto E and higher than the Lenovo A6000 as well as the Zenfone 5. So overall this phone is performing pretty good in our benchmarks and it's actually living up to my expectations. Next up we are running the Velamo browser test. So it will run Sun Spider, it will also run Octane and give us a score. So we got 1895, again a great score, close to the Lenovo A6000 and higher than the Moto E. So that's the trend we see here, it scores higher than the Moto E and it's very close to the Lenovo A6000. Now in metal we got a score of 809, again a very good score for this chipset. So overall in terms of benchmarks, this phone is performing quite well. Now let's test multi-touch capabilities. The Moto E comes with a 5 point multi-touch display and here we have a 10 point multi-touch display. So the Redmi 2 definitely has the Moto E beaten on display with a huge huge margin. Now let us check if apps are movable to external storage. Now with all Mi devices that we have seen, apps are not movable to external storage. There is no such option. And here too you can see right, there is no option to move apps to external storage. So apps will remain in the internal storage and you have about 4.5 gigs of that available. Now let's check USB OTG support. USB OTG is actually supported on the device. I showed that in the unboxing and hands-on as well. And you can see right here, it's been detected and you can simply go ahead and access it. Now overall in terms of general use, multitasking, just going through the paces on Mi UI 6, this phone performs quite well. Animations are quick, the UI is very responsive, the touch response is also excellent. Now this phone comes with great build quality, far better than the Redmi 1S. You have got an 8 megapixel red, 2 megapixel camera in the front. So it's got the Moto E beaten in specs and in performance. What remains to be seen is how is gaming on both these devices. We'll be back with more on it. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share any questions you have about this new Moto E or any other device. Just hit us in the comment section. Thanks for watching and as always have a great day.